Hi, my name's Neil Warren and I'm the manager for Countryside Mobility, an initiative which helps anyone with limited mobility to be able to enjoy the countryside around South West England. I'm here today at Lulworth Cove, one of our most recent sites, and this is a tramper, the all-terrain scooter that we use at all of our hire sites. Uh, this video is designed to provide you with an introduction to it, how the controls work, and it will also be suitable for anyone who wants a refresher who may have used it a little bit time ago. So some first things to point out about the tramper when you come to use it. At the front here, you'll find there's a handy place for storing any small bags. The seat mechanism allows you to slide it forwards and backwards, depending on your height, so you're comfortable there. Uh, the seat will also tilt backwards and forwards should you need to. And these armrests, they go up and down, so it makes it easy for you to be able to get onto the tramper in the first place. And then they go down when you're going long on the tramper to give you a bit more security. At the back of the tramper, there's also a couple of um, holders here for any sticks or crutches that you might want to have stored there um, that you may have brought with you. So the next thing to point out is the key position, uh, which is either on the side or in the front, and that turns the tramper on. So you just turn it away from you, so that's uh, clockwise, and that switches the tramper on. One thing to point out about that is that it's wise to have that switched off if you stop and there are children around, and likewise, um, if you stop for a good period of time, it will automatically switch itself off the tramper. So you just need to switch the tramper off and back on again, and you'll be fine to move off. So here's the dashboard of the tramper. The controls are nice and straightforward. On the left hand side are the controls which you won't need so often. Uh, on the right hand side are the ones that you'll use. Uh, for reference purposes, the ones on the left include indicators, hazard lights, headlights at the front and back, and a horn, which can be quite helpful for attracting attention should you need to. Moving round to the right hand side of the controls, uh, the most basic one is to decide which direction you want to go in, either forwards or backwards. The next control to decide is which one of the twist grips you're going to use, either left or right, and you can select this by just pulling the collar up and moving it in either direction. That way, if you have one hand that's stronger than the other, or one arm that's stronger than the other, then you can use that with the twist grip. Sometimes this control is located on the front, sometimes it's on the side. So if it's not there on the front, just look at for it on the side, either there or there. Then in terms of controlling speed, there are two main ways you can do this. The first one, and most basic one, is the hare and the tortoise here. Sometimes uh, it's not the hare and the tortoise. If it's an older tramper, it may have just the number four there, but it does the same thing. When you have it on hare, it takes it up to the tramper's maximum speed of four miles an hour. Moving it down to the tortoise takes it down automatically to a maximum of two miles an hour, which is really helpful when you're first starting up, or there's a section of the route which is more difficult, such as a steep downhill slope or going over some tree routes. The other speed control is this dial here, which goes from left to right. As you move it round from left to right, the speed increases. So it's this combination of the two which decide the speed. The fastest speed would be to put it on the hair and all the way round to the right. That will take it up to four miles an hour. The slow speed would be to turn that down to tortoise and all this way round to the left. If you go into reverse, the tramper automatically goes slower. To make the tramper move, you use the twist grip on either side, depending on which is your stronger hand. You could switch during uh, your time with the tramper. But all you do is to pull the twist grip towards you. You'll hear a click, which is the brake being released. If you keep on turning, then the tramper starts to move. And if you release it, then the brake clicks in again. The one thing to be aware of is if you stop on an uphill slope, when you go to pull away again, just be really confident in pulling the twist grip all the way towards you, and then the tramper will move forward. 